I love doing reviews like this where I get to talk about and highlight some great smelling fragrances. A few of these fragrances can transition you from winter to spring. A few of these fragrances are all year round fragrances. There's an inexpensive one on the list. There's a couple of niche on the list. There's a few designers on the list. If you want to find out about these fragrances, you know what to do. Just stay tuned. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and thank you very much for tuning in. That is right, I've got eight great smelling fragrances to go through. But before I get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free, it doesn't cost you a penny. And always press the bell because that will notify you when I drop a review at a later date and I have a code for you lot. It is a code for the house of unique luxury it is a niche fragrance house and before i get going i don't earn no money no commission they don't pay me to do this this code is for you not to strictly save money if you go on unique luxury's website and you put a fragrance in your basket where it says promo code or discount code put in mikey hyphen kute 23 and that will give you 15% off your order. And like I say, I don't earn no money out of it. I'm not pushing this code on you. It's just there for you to use it if you are thinking about buying a fragrance from that house. Right, I'm going to get going. First off, I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with a powerful, fresher fragrance. To me, this fragrance is an all-year-round fragrance. But I would go very light on the trigger on hotter days. This is Kenzo Hom of the Parfum. I believe this was released in 2022. And man, this thing slaps you across the nose. It is strong. I found a couple of different note breakdowns for this. I know it's got leather in it. But the note breakdown that I found didn't have leather in it. It says Merino, Nutmeg, Pine, Patchouli and Cedarwood. Now, this does open aquatic, it opens salty, it opens fresh, even a little bit of sweetness there. But I also get a fruity quality from this fragrance. It's not full on in your face. That fruity aroma that I'm picking up is in the back. As this starts to settle down, that is when the woods really sort of amp up in this fragrance. And I swear I can detect Aki Gallowood. Now, the reason why I say that is because this fragrance does remind me of that. Um, this fragrance does remind me a little bit of Ganymede by Marc Antoine Bois. Now, the perfumer behind that was Quinton Biche. The perfumer behind this is Quinton Biche. And it gives off that smell that Ganymede has, that Aki Gallowood, and I can pick it up in this fragrance. And you do get a soft, suede undertone. To me, this is not um, heavy on the leather. And like I say, it comes across more like suede, and it is smooth. As this fragrance does settle in and you're in the dry down, I still get a little bit of a salty quality from this fragrance. Up top, it's full on. But the more this dries down and sits, it kind of slowly fades into the back. That fruity quality fizzles out after about five minutes. And I definitely get a green tone with this as well. Again, it is sort of lingering in the back. But after a few minutes, it comes in and it that stays on my skin as well. It starts out fresh. And it darkens, but it still maintains a little bit of a fresh quality. I love this fragrance. It is very strong, especially in the opening. You're going to get two solid hours of good projection out of this. And I mean, it pushes. You're going to leave a big scent trail. 
eight hours, then it's a skin scent. So it's a very good performer on clothes. It will be on there for days. You can dress this up. You can dress this down. You can white t-shirt, suited and booted, meetings, office. But if you're going to wear this indoors or in an office, I would go very light on the trigger. I reckon two sprays is enough because trust me, it is a strong fragrance. And it being fresher, it's powerful. It really is. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this today. This is Kenzo Om, Other Puff Om. This is a great fragrance. And you can find this at discounters. Look on Perfumes Club. Look on Perfumes Dreams. Look on Notino. Look on a lot of websites. Shop around for prices. And I guarantee you will get this for a steal. Yeah, this is a solid fragrance. I've done a review on this fragrance a little while ago. This fragrance is coming from the house of Gardenio Benesseri and it is Mr. Colonia. This is a great fragrance. It really is. To me, this is lively, bright, citrusy. To me, it's masculine, but it's got a little bit of a floral touch to it. So there is a little bit of a unisex thing going on, but it definitely leans more on the masculine side. We'll get into it. You've got lemon, orange blossom, ambergris, musk, myrrh, ambergris again, Thailand lotus, Mexican tuberose, Tuscan iris, jasmine sandback, Indian sandalwood, Indonesian patchouli, vanilla and musk. So there's a lot of notes in this fragrance. And do I get all them? No, I don't. What I do get is it opens up bright. Like I say, it's citrusy. It's very fresh. It's got this old school fougere vibe to it but modernized the florals here do smooth out the fragrance and they give this fragrance i'd say soft floral edges or soft floral touch this is musky straight out the gate and the more this sits the muskier it gets it's aromatic at times it's fresh spicy it's woodsy citrusy yeah it's a solid fragrance if you haven't tried this you can pick this fragrance up for £88 on Perfume Streams website. All their fragrances, not all of the ones in this brand, but some of the ones in this brand are £88 and then some of them jump up to £160. I own a few of these. Woodstock Patchouli, great fragrance. That is, I mean, if you like patchouli in every form, Woodstock patchouli would be your jam. It's very woodsy and you get a lot of patchouli in it. But I wanted to talk about this one today. This would be great for spring. This would be great for summer. All year round, office safe, smarter, dressed down again. Very versatile. It's clean. It's crisp. It's a solid fragrance. And that is Mr. Colonia from Gardenio Benesseri. £88 for 100 mil. That is a no-brainer. It really is. I want to talk about this one today. This one deserves to be highlighted. It is coming from the brand of Pharmacia SS Anazita. And I pronounce it as Curio Toscano. Probably butchering that. This is a great smelling fragrance. And nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about this brand. And I own five from this brand, and all of them, to me, have been hits. None of them have I bought, I've blind bought every single one of them, which is naughty. And none of them have I thought, mm, I don't really like that. I have my favourites, Gardenio Del Iris and Whiskey Nobel are fantastic fragrances. People, if you want to wear something that stands out, Take a look at this brand. But anyway, we're talking about this today. You've got lemon, tobacco, leaves, geranium, labdanum, frankincense, elemi, leather, patchouli, benzoin, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, and saffron. Now, this opens up citrusy, very lemony, but this is not your typical citrus fragrance. No, no, no. Once this starts drying down after a couple of minutes, that this incense aroma comes through long with a smoky quality and as it dries down it slowly starts warming up on the skin then you get this leather that comes through and to me it's kind of a dark leather but then you've got the saffron backing up the leather which adds spice plus amps that leathery aroma up 
it's woodsy. The LME, right. The LME carries that lemon aroma all the way through the fragrance. That stays, it opens up lemony. In the mid, you get that lemony smell. In the base, that lemony smell is still there. But when it gets to the base, it's in the back. And that keeps freshness and a citrusy quality in the fragrance all the way through, which to me balances this fragrance out. Because you've got quite a lot of heavy notes in here, that lemon, they've done it very well, but you have to enjoy lemon. It doesn't smell like lemon pledge or floor cleaner. No, no, no. Because you've got the incense, you've got the leather, you've got the woods, you've got the patchouli. This fragrance darkens, turns woodsy, a little bit earthy, leathery. It's a solid fragrance. There is a lot going on with it. It is complex. It chops and changes. But one thing that stays is that lemon smell. And I love it for that because it's a little bit unique. So if you do want to stand out, try this fragrance. But you have to enjoy lemon. And to me, this I wouldn't say, I wouldn't wear this in the summer. But spring, autumn, winter, I would wear this fragrance. So it's the perfect time of year. You can pick these up on their website. I think they're 160 euros. But again, Perfumes Dreams sell this brand and a few other websites. I will leave links down below in the description when I upload this review. I always forget to say that. But I will leave the links down below to Perfumes Dreams, to Uniquey Luxury, to Natino and a few others. But yeah, anyway, this is a solid fragrance. Beautiful looking bottle. Great smell. Fantastic atomizer and the juice is quality. Now we're going to be talking about a little more simpler fragrance. Not completely simple, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's not complex. It's not hard to wear. This fragrance is mass appeal. It's easy to wear. It's very likeable. This is Ralph Club's Parfum. Now... This is a great fragrance. Some people hate on this. The longevity could be better, yes. You're going to get five hours. I've had six. Sometimes I've had seven. It depends how cold it is, how warm it is. To me, when my skin is warmer, this fragrance lasts longer. But it is good. The opening as well. I love the opening of this. You've got mandarin oil, apple accord, cardamom oil, lavender heart. Lavender, clary sage heart, geranium vetiver, patchouli oil, and cashmere. And now, how does this open up? Fresh, spicy, citrusy, aromatic. After a minute or so, that apple comes through, but the apple always stays in the back, up top. It never like this is not an apple bomb. It's not in your face. It's more on the citrusy side and the spicy side than what it is on the apple aroma. You do get a nice blast of that cardamom, so you do have to enjoy cardamom to appreciate the opening of this fragrance. As it starts settling in, the apple fizzles out, woods come through. To me, it goes a little bit herbal. Sometimes I get green touches from it, dries down a little bit more. Now, the patchouli and vetiver come through, which to me turns the wood up, which to me turns the woods up a little bit, gives this an ever so faintly earthy touch plus the cashmere here it warms the base up it adds a little bit of sweetness into the fragrance plus it sort of everything lays on a musky base so it's a simpler fragrance but to me it's very versatile it's mass appealing again you can dress this up dress this down this is an all-year fragrance in my own personal opinion you can wear it in any season at any time on any day you can wear it in the morning you can wear it in the afternoon it's smart enough to wear it in the evening and the age range on this is good i think someone in their late teens to all the way into your 50s can rock this fragrance age is just a number who cares even if you're 70 and you enjoy the way this smells you can wear it if you like saying if right I'm not going to go on a rant, but if you're a male and you enjoy a little bit of a feminine fragrance, wear it. Who cares? And if you're a lady and you enjoy wearing masculine fragrance or something that leans a little bit more on the masculine side, who cares? It doesn't matter. As long as you enjoy the scent, 
Who cares? As long as you're not suffocating people and no one can moan about that. So what? You wear what you want. You paid for it. You rock it. It's as simple as that. So any age can wear this fragrance. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, solid scent. Longevity could be better. But carry a decant with you. Or if you have to, reapply. But yeah, that is Ralph Club Parfum. Great fragrance. Now, this fragrance has been around for a few years. And I don't even think I've done a review on it. And it is coming from the house of Itat Lib de Orange. Probably butchered that. And it is Fat Electrician. <laughs> semi-modern Vetiver or semi-modern Vetiver Fat Electrician. This is a great smelling fragrance. It's unique. The reason being, it is a woodsy fragrance. It is a Vetiver fragrance. But it's nutty at the same time. Great atomizers on these bottles. I'm not going to lie to you, when this first opens up, I do get a quick chemical blast. I don't know if it's just my bottle or my skin or my nose, but that only lasts for about 10 seconds, then you're golden. Right, you've got vetiver from Haiti, chestnut, cream, olive leaves, myrrh, vanilla and a popinax. Now, straight away, it opens up warm, sweet, creamy, then the vetiver is noticeable and the vetiver here, to me, is very faintly smoky, a touch earthy, obviously woodsy, but with this, you've got the chestnut, and the chestnut makes everything nutty, like the whole fragrance comes across as nutty, and it works so well with the vetiver. I do get green touches from this fragrance. That vanilla, the Apopanax, they warm this fragrance up. They add some nice sweetness in, Plus, you do get light balsamic touches as the fragrance dries down. That green side of this fragrance always stays on my skin. Like once, after a couple of minutes, once it comes in, it is there all the way into the dry down and I can still pick it up. Obviously, you're going to get the vetiver all the way through, but the base is really nice because it sits warm on the skin, a little bit sweet, a little bit ambery, a touch vanillic and ever so slightly nutty. It's a solid, solid scent. I wouldn't reach for this in hot days, no way. To me, this is a free season fragrance, definitely not for summer, but perfect for this time of year, perfect for spring. It's got a little bit of punch to it. Longevity, six to seven hours on my skin. It does last longer on clothes. It is more of a masculine fragrance, but ladies, if you're watching this and you enjoy nutty fragrances, give it a go because to me, yeah, it leans masculine, but it smells great. But anyway, that is Fat Electrician. I was looking through my Aaron Terence Hughes collection and I thought to myself, I don't know which one to put on the list because there's a few that I could have put on this list. But I've gone with Daddy. This is a superb fragrance and I mean superb. I think the 50ml costs about £140 if I'm right. I think the 10ml of Daddy is £34. At some point, I will be buying 50 mil bottles. The reason why I haven't is because, obviously, I ain't loaded. And I try and think to myself, right, I already own this one for now. So I'm going to put that on the back burner. And at a later date, I will grab a bigger bottle because there's other fragrances that I need to buy. And this is one of them fragrances that I will be buying or purchasing a 50 mil of. This has two sides to it. And we'll get into it. I do love the way this smells. Man, it's sweet. You've got apple, bergamot, tonka bean, nutmeg, smooth oud, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, benzoin, ethical ambergris, clean skin accord. Now, this opens up bright. It opens up with that bergamot. You get this crisp, green, juicy apple. Now, with this, the nutmeg adds in a little bit of spice, smooth spice. But it starts creating this warmth in the fragrance. As this starts to settle in, that smooth oud comes through. And to me, it is smooth oud. It's nothing challenging. It's not barnyardy, fecal, animatic. It gives the fragrance a little bit of a woodsy touch. But it feels like it adds layers and depth into the fragrance. And it does give this fragrance a really nice, rich quality. Now... 
you get the tonka bean. The tonka bean here gives off a little bit of a marzipan or a sweet marzipan aroma. As it settles in, the vanilla comes through, which blends in perfect with that tonka bean. Then it goes a little bit ambery. It's creamy, it's woodsy, it's smooth, it's buttery. The apple slowly fizzles out along with the bergamot. The fragrance really does gain some warmth in the base. Smooth, rich, sexy, playful, opens up bright and playful and fun, dries down to be dark, sexy, smooth, buttery and cream. That is the only way that I can describe it. He does fantastic work. He really does. And he's been getting a lot of hype lately and for good reason because his fragrances or his yeah, his fragrances speak for his brand and people can tell that the way he blends everything, he does a fantastic job. He's done a fantastic job on Daddy. Longevity, seven to eight hours, on clothes for a couple of days. Big projection at first, rains in after about two hours, but still radiating. Yeah, this smells good. That apple, he hits it right on the head. I did do a review on this fragrance a little while ago, but I wanted to highlight it. It deserves some attention. If you enjoy the smell of banana and you're probably thinking, I don't want to smell like banana, this fragrance is more than banana. This is Barna Banana from the Artisan Perfumer. This is a fantastic fragrance. People see the name and they think, no, I ain't touching that with a barge pole because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smell like banana all day. There's more going on than just banana. This smells great. And I love the atomizers. I love the look of the bowl as well. Right, you've got violet leaf pepper, nutmeg flower, iris jasmine, banana blossom, amber musk and tonka bean. Straight away, you get sweetness. You get a little bit of warmth. You get a little bit of spice. I get more of the nutmeg than I do the pepper. To me, the pepper's way in the back. The nutmeg's up front, which is warm, spicy. With this, you get this green, unripe aroma of banana. Now, after a few minutes when it starts settling, that unripe banana ripens up. It turns yellow, it turns juicy, it turns a little bit more sweet. But with this now, the iris is coming, so it's got a powdery side to it. So now it's soft, spicy, it's warmed up, you get the banana smell, it's powdery and a little bit green, dries down a little bit more. Now the musk comes through. To be honest with you, I need to get the musk, well, I get the musk early on. And this is the fright. This is the type of fragrance that the longer it sits, the muskier it gets. You get the amber, you get the tonka bean. They add some nice additional sweetness into the fragrance. This fragrance really does have a creamy nature to it. At first, it isn't noticeable. But as it dries down, it's like that banana turns creamy, juicy, but it has that powdery side from the iris. I love this scent, I really do. To me, it starts out, I wouldn't say this is juvenile, no. It has a little bit of a sophisticated edge to it. Like a teen wet, wear what you want when you want, but if a teen was wearing this, yeah, when it gets to the mid, I can see it, the opening, not so much, but it has a little bit more of a mature nature to it, which I appreciate. Yeah, this fragrance is great, it really is. It deserves some love. It does. But anyway, that is Barna Banana from La Artisan Perfumer. Solid fragrance. Now I'm finishing off the list with an inexpensive fragrance. This is coming from Maison Alhambra. And when I smelt this, I thought to myself, man, if you was blindfolded, there is no way that you would think that this thing cost £22 in the UK and I think it's a hundred mil I believe it's a hundred mil bowl this is Afro Leather from Maison Alhambra this is inspired by or a clone of Memo Paris's African Leather and they do smell very close yes African Leather is of better quality it is smoother you can tell that when you do a side by side but the overall scent profile in the air and on skin, it is very close. 
and you cannot go wrong. Oh man, this smells so good. Right, you've got cardamom, geranium, lever cord, saffron, cumin, vetiver, patchouli, agar wood, bergamot and musk. Now, that bergamot should be at the top. You do get fresh spice quickly. It turns into warm spice. But with this, you have a little bit of freshness and a little bit of a citrusy quality coming from the bergamot. Now, the geranium here, I think, is backing up the bergamot which boosts that citrusy side a little bit, plus adds in a little bit of extra spice. Now, as it starts to, to settle down and that citrusy quality fizzles out, that is when the leather really shines. To me, it, it, it starts out a little bit rugged, the leather does, but as time goes by, it smooths out and it definitely comes across more like leather. It's not like smooth and suede. It's got a little bit of a dark side to it, if that makes sense. Now, as this does dry down, the cumin here carries that spice through. So you get the cardamom, then I think spice is coming from the geranium, then you have the cumin. So this fragrance is always this fragrance always contains a bit of spice to it, or it always has a spicy side. The oud here just adds a little bit of depth, sort of beefs the base of the fragrance up. I don't really I do get a woodsy undertone in this fragrance. But I don't detect really any oud. Like it doesn't come across smelling like oud. It's more woodsy, a little bit musky and a little bit dense. Like it adds thickness to the fragrance. Adds a level of richness, I would say. It's a gentleman fragrance. It smells great. This is for when you're going out and you do want to stand out. If you own the real thing and you enjoy it and you want something that smells very similar. But you don't want to keep wasting African leather. Give this a go. I'm not trying to sell you this fragrance. I don't get paid to talk about none of these. This is well worth the pickup. It really is. And if you can't afford African leather, pick this up. Dressed up, looking smart. You can wear this on a date. You can wear this to dinners. You can wear this going out for drinks. It's more of a nighttime scent, definitely. It gravitates towards colder weather. I wouldn't rock this on a hot day. And the opening, you don't get no alcohol blast. It is, it's great. They've done a great job with this. But anyway, that is Afro Leather from Maison Alhambra. I hope I explained that well enough for you lot to understand. Spice, fresh spicy, warm spicy, woodsy, leathery, a little bit citrusy. A touch green, I would say as well, actually. I do get a green touch with that fragrance. But yeah, anyway, right, ladies and gentlemen, that is eight great fragrances. Now, any of these you can't go wrong with. I know some people or a lot of people are on a budget. So if you want to go for that Afro leather, I think you're going to be surprised at how good it smells. Or if you want to try the La Artisan Perfume, Banana, La Bana Banana, that is a mad name. But it fits the fragrance, so they've done well with that. Kenzo Om, other perfume, is a powerhouse or for a freshie. But anyway, yeah. Eight solid fragrances. I wanted to talk about them today. I think they deserve some love. Definitely. None of these do I think mm, they're okay. I think they're all great scents. And with a few of them, you'll definitely stand out. Right, let me know which ones you have tried. Which ones do you own? I would love to hear your thoughts. I appreciate everybody's support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers.